NASCAR is in the news today because guess what? They've revealed the next gen car. We're going to look at the next gen car for each individual team as well as react to some of the news that we figured out today about what the next gen car will look like and some of its unique features. Before we get into it, some promotion, fun Friday guys, stay tuned, NASCAR throwback reveals, so pumped up. But let's get into this reaction quickly. Let's let's look at what the next gen car is going to look like next season. Let's start with Toyota's next gen car. Now, let's just take a look at this and kind of dive in it and soak what this car looks like. It looks exactly like a Camry I would see in the road nowadays. It doesn't look too much off from the from the other Camrys that... Um, you know, are raced on a normal basis, but it does look very good. I noticed that these cars are much more, much more boxy. They're much more boxed in, you know, more like modern day cars today too. They're more boxy. Um, I do like that. There's just teeny details of this car that really do show what a street Camry would look like and what a street Camry would be like. Not much about. I just like that car. It just looks like a very nice, mean looking car. I so I that's what I think about that one. Um let's head on and look at Chevrolet's one next Chevrolet's next gen car. Looking pretty good here too. Now look at this one. This one just honestly looks like the next gen car that looks like the same car we see on the street. Normally it it, it looks oh man it looks it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty amazing um i'm just kind of taking a look at this one i do think that this one though has even the little even the littlest details to it that are just insane just that teeny detail that no one even knows no one even cares about but that just those small signature details in a car you know like in a nascar car that no one even thinks about. No one even thinks about. And I mean, I wonder if they did look at this. And the back of it looks epic. Front looks even more. The back, again, a more boxy. It kind of comes in like this. It kind of comes in through it, which is weird looking, and definitely higher up on the ground as well. Um, Ford Mustang is hitting the track as well. Now look at this Mustang from the front view. <sighs> that thing looks mean. That Mustang looks mean. And then from your side view, you know, just, again, this one looks a little more natural. I think this one looks more natural than the other two. But again, I think because the Ford and the Camaro are probably the two best-looking cars out on the racetrack. Oh, man, this is just insane. Look at this then. Epic, epic, epic. The back, again, you can see kind of they all curve in, curve out. The Ford looks good. The Toyota looks good. The Chevy looks good. I have nothing bad to say about any of the cars. So there's a quick look at the cars. Um, they they look very good. Um, they definitely, no surprises, wasn't expecting anything. They all kind of look the same as what we would expect from a NASCAR next-gen car reveal. I wasn't expecting much different. We have the Camaro, we have the Mustang, we have the Camry. Toyota still using the Camry. I didn't know though if they would went to the Supra. Uh, they didn't. Now, the Camry looks exactly, like the, the cars themselves look exactly like their counterparts that are sold in your local dealership. I mean, that Chevrolet 
Camaro looks, and next to a Chevrolet Camaro, looks like the same exact thing as the Chevrolet Camaro. So I think that's very interesting that they did that, um, given it a different look, a different feeling, and made it look more realistic, made it look more modern. This car is supposed to be the modern day NASCAR car. This is supposed to be the most modern thing that NASCAR has, and, and, and this is a very modern thing, and this car looks very nice. And We'll get to some of what Steve Phelps and those guys said in a second. And then the Toyota guy, Toyota, same thing. It looks like the Camar Camry that was ran all the time. And the Ford Mustang just looks, the Ford Mustang looks very good. I like the Ford Mustang a lot. I like all three of the cars very much. But let's get into what some of the comments were, some of the stuff that we learned about this car and, and what to expect from it. We definitely got a lot of information that I don't think we were expecting. So, number one, we learned that C. Phelps, those guys, they were really, they were questioned about, you know, what does this do for people? Like, what does this do if I want to go own a race team? Like, how does this affect me? I want to go own a race team. What does this affect me? And, and, and how does this affect me if I want to go run a race team? And I think that it does affect these teams, it does affect them in a way that Denny Hamlin spoke to. Denny Hamlin said, well, everyone's developing this car together. Everyone's figuring out this car together. Not if you jump in, you're 30 years away from knowing what this car is. And that's something that's very important. This is a brand new car for everybody. So jumping into the sport right now gives you that opportunity to develop this car for ev with everybody this year. That's something that you won't get. And that's appealing teams to NASCAR. And Stanny Hamlin spoke on that. Steve Phelps spoke on that for a little while as well. That, you know, the teams that want to come into NASCAR they can come in and they can be a part of NASCAR in a way that they would never be able to be a part of before because of this next gen car, because of the testing, and because of the fact that every team's going to be doing this on their own. Every team's going to be developing this car on their own, and that's something that definitely needs to be said. Now, everyone's developing this car on their own, you know? Everyone is um, learning at the same time. So very, very interesting stuff. If I do say so myself, I did really enjoy getting to know the financial side and what it would mean for other NASCAR teams to own on um, one of these cars. Um, I also found these few things that are interesting. Some of them we already knew, but these stuff that I took down listening to it, you hit the wall, it won't affect the car very much, as one of the, one of the engineers that worked on the car. First time I heard this one, aerodynamically this car seems to be like it won't be effective as much. Like aerodynamically it won't be effective. By, if you hit the wall, they said there'll be less consequences for just slamming up and hitting the wall than there would normally be, which is a big deal because this weekend at Darlington, we'll see some Darlington stripes and you can just get a Darlington stripe and it won't affect your car as much as good and bad. I do like when drivers put their cars to the edge and there's a consequence. Now more drivers are going to put their cars to the edge and if they hit the wall just a little bit, it won't matter. There'll still be a consequence. I'm, I'm sure there'll still be a consequence. I mean, maybe I'm taking this comment itself way out of what it said. Uh, we also learned that we knew this. this. This car can be ran at any track. It doesn't need a special package. Doesn't well, we'll have a special package. My bad, but it doesn't need like a spe special car to run anywhere. Um, this isn't. We learned about a rack and pinion system with a better tire. So this tire is going to be better. They said it's going to be better. It's going to have more grip for the drivers, which is very good. I five gears in the car as well so the challenges for the NASCAR drivers there are some benefits they get hitting the wall less of damage you get more of a you get five gears in your car that's pretty good um, we also heard from many one of the biggest quotes I got was if this is a good time to come to the sport good time to get into the sport is right now for many fans teams whatever you are this is a good time to get in the sport, and that one was a good one. Um, good comment that came down in the tonight. So that's everything I got from a uh, next-gen car reveal, all the big stuff that I have. Um, thank you all for watching this video. As I said, throwback next week. This is a NASCAR week, all NASCAR content this week. See you guys on Friday. Peace out.